The growth of unconventional oil and gas, I think it's fair to say, has had a profound effect on the U.S. economy as a whole, both for producers and for consumers. So the sector as a whole has had added hundreds of millions of dollars in overall wealth to the nation's economy. It has kept energy prices at decade-long lows, which is good for consumers, anybody who drives a car or has to heat their home or has to pay for electricity. The, the process of producing all of this oil and gas from unconventional formations requires a lot of labor, requires a large workforce in order to sustain that level of production. And so the unconventional oil and gas sector has employed thousands of workers to drill, complete, and produce wells. There are additional workers required to construct and operate supporting pipeline and processing infrastructure. And we sometimes call these workforce impacts the direct impact of some economic activity. Then, all of those workers who are employed directly by oil and gas companies, they earn money and they go spend it on other things. Right? They may have to spend money on lodging when they're at a work site. They may take some of their money back home and spend it on other goods and services. And so these investment dollars get effectively get recirculated through the economy, through the purchase of other goods and services. And so when we're looking at the overall economic impact of not just oil and gas production, but any industrial activity, then we, we, we try to count these indirect and induced impacts of these, of these dollars pay, you know, spent by companies that recirculate through the nation's economy. Can you explain the multiplier effect associated with unconventional energy? The, oftentimes economists will use a number called the multiplier to describe just how much those investment dollars are recirculating. And so the multiplier is usually calculated as the ratio of the direct, indirect, and induced economic impact, so the direct dollars spent by the company, and then, the, and then how those dollars recirculate, right? that as a percentage of just the direct spending by companies. And so for the, oil and, for the unconventional oil and gas sector specifically, there have been a number of estimates of these multipliers, right? But typical numbers will range between about 1.4 and 1.8. And what that means is that every dollar spent directly in investment by oil and gas companies you know, drilling in unconventional formations creates a uh, dollar and 40 cents of overall economic activity.